Hey everybody, what's up? Um, sorry I didn't do a Facebook Live yesterday, I wasn't in the clinic. But, um, so here's the deal, right? So I got this one patient right now, severe migraines, daily migraines, can't sleep, heads pounding, 10 years, 10 years of it. Five neurologists, orthopedic specialists, primary care doctors, drugs, injections, you name it, she tried it, right? The issue with the medical system, if you ask me, is that they don't fully understand what's causing most headaches. Now, of course, there's hormonal issues. Of course, there is, um, you know, lesions to the brain, brain tumors, et cetera, et cetera, which are rarer. But nine out of 10 headaches for that matter are tension related. Specifically, you get too much tension, it rotates C2, and therefore you get a vasospasm in the head, which is a pounding headache. Realign C2, that helps, but you gotta get to the root cause of it is why is it going out of alignment in the first place, which is too much nervous system volume okay they're stressed right so anyways i got this patient right she um the first couple of visits she was like yelling at me you know like she's just so angry and stressed because she was looking for help everybody failed her you know like anyways right so in two weeks got her headaches under control no headaches right so what I did is, you know, I do my myofascial method, I relax the neck, I'm working on her posture, right? But then what I also am doing is, um, I'm using the Fisher Wallace, that takes about five weeks, okay? An hour and 40 minutes, takes about five weeks to relax the neck, okay? Um, but then I also gave her the Alpha Stim, so she ordered the Alpha Stim, right? And with that combination thus far, no headaches, right? So I'm saying this video because she went back to her doctor yesterday, her primary care doctor and said, I'm going to this guy, it's working great for the first time in 10 years, I don't have any headaches. Guy goes, I don't wanna hear it. Medical doctor, I don't wanna hear it. He goes, I'm not subscribing to any of that treatment. I want you to go see a spine specialist. And he goes, it's not gonna work, it already is working. Anyways, what was happening, they came in and they wanted to know, the husband and wife, why this guy did that to them. And I'm like, oh please, this is, this is the medical field, right? You, you present something slightly new, they're not gonna learn it. They, they, you know, keep doing what they're doing, right? Guys, we can't have this, man. This lady has this doctor for years, who was the last visit she's ever going to this doctor, she said. And she's, she said she was like, Yona, no, this guy helped me, you know? And I've been suffering for 10 years. She, she said to him, you've done nothing for me. And this guy helped me, right? Didn't wanna hear it. Wouldn't work, he said. Not gonna work, hocus pocus. It's not hocus pocus, it's all evidence-based. The issue with these people is that if you ask me, that guy, that particular physician, or any provider, should be forced to open a standalone clinic and be judged on their results. Not insurance, where you get paid, that kind of thing, because that would end. I'm telling you, you want to revolutionize healthcare, results-based results -based reimbursement. That guy would be looking for some new ideas, you know, because if he wouldn't get paid because that lady you know, that lady was still in pain. I'm not saying people will do it from, only for money, but what I'm saying is the fear of not getting paid is one, mo one heck of a motivator. Anyways, don't be like these people. It's really sad, I hear it all the time. My patients go back to their surgeon, it's like, ah, this guy fixed me, he told me I need surgery. Surgeons don't wanna hear it. Um, it's sad, man. You know, if that ever happened to me and somebody said, hey, this guy fixed me and you failed, I'd be like, really? How? You know, like, like I need to know, man, I need to know, I gotta help other people, you know? It's crazy. Anyways.